Hey beautiful, welcome back to another video. We have a pretty good video today because we're going to go in and do a fill and we're also going to extend her nails. There's going to be a few things that you could learn from it. We're going to encapsulate, use forms, extend the nails, and do a fill all in one. So it'll be pretty interesting. I'm going to start by taking off her pearls and any um, gems or nail art that, um, you know, you might have on your nails or your client's nails you want to start with that and then we're going to go in and i'm going to file off the nail art and any gel polish smooth everything out i do cut the nails down because i'm going to extend her tips using clear acrylic because the design calls for a clear tip so i had to cut them down a little bit so that we can have more clear space if that makes sense at the tip of the nail I just want to say that I highly recommend a dust collector. I do have a mask on, but if you see all this dust, you could be breathing it in and um, it's just safer for you and your client. So just use a dust collector. It really helps. I do have one and unfortunately I didn't charge it before uh, we sat down when I um, went to use it. Ugh, it. It's just, it's my fault. Okay. And I'm also waiting for Kara Sky's dust collector. I haven't gotten it in the mail. I know they had some really bad weather, so I don't know um, what happened there, but I am waiting for it. Fingers crossed. Hopefully I get it. Um, this way I can have two in rotation. That would be really, really nice. And then I can also show you how it works. I've seen a lot of um, good feedback on Kara Sky's Dust Collector, so I highly recommend. I will leave the link in the description box. I also have a promo code. It is jammy. 10. Kind of satisfying to watch everything come off. Let me know what you think, but I'm just going to make sure everything's somewhat even. You're not really going to see the line because of the design. You shouldn't really see it. But after this step, I'm going to start from scratch basically this is what you would do to start a fresh set but we're going to do the fill so i'm going to go in and push the cuticle back and then i'm going to go in with my sanding band and it's going to be at about four thars four thars what <laughs> four thousand rpms for etching the nails i'm going to smooth everything out and remove shine basically just prep them for acrylic application but you'll see what I do oh I did not mention that to remove um, the old set or you know the polish and everything in the nail art I was at like 10,000 yeah about 10 or 11,000 rpms on the Erica's uh, journey
All right, once I was done with prep, I go in with Young Nail Swipe and I cleanse all 10 nails. And then I'm going to go in with Tone's acrylic system. I go in with their monomer, their number 10 acrylic brush, their cover pink, sparkly clear glass, their nail prep and ultra bond, which that I use as I go. I put it on on each nail as I'm applying the acrylic so that it's not just sitting on it. I want it to be nice and fresh. Then I'm going to go in with these butterflies and these hearts. They're iridescent. So I'm going with pink butterflies, white butterflies. I don't know. I'm just going to improvise and see what we um, see fits, you know. Now I'm going to go in with Zule's forms, which these are amazing because they stick on really well. And I'm going to try to place it and get it to where there is no gap as best as I can so that we can extend her nails. And that's it. As you're applying the acrylic... You want to make sure your fingers angle down specifically when you are doing the cuticle area bead. I know a lot of you say that you struggle with that the most. So you're just going to place it and just let it run. Like let it let it uh, do its thing. Let gravity work for you. Just place it in a nice spot so that it covers. And then you can use your brush and put it place it behind the acrylic so that you can guide it remember you are in control all right and then as far as extending the nail your beads should be a little bit more on the drier side as you saw that bead was kind of wet and it was running off to the sides so it's okay you can make it work but you just have to struggle less when the bead is on the drier side but once you have your base down and you're going to encapsulate you put your nail art on top of that base and then when you're going to encapsulate your beads can definitely be more on the wetter side so that it just seeps in really nice and it looks nice and clear when you go to file and top coat.
All right, I just want to add in this part that here I'm asking her if she wants me to face the form so that the nail looks straight when we're looking at it from this angle, but she does not like for it to look crooked when she's looking at it. She just wants it to go with the natural way that her, um, or, you know, the way her natural nail grows so that it just goes, you know, naturally with the shape of her hand and everything so just keep that in mind it is client preference like just ask them because they may not like for pictures it looks nice but when they look at their nails they want it they may want it to look you know natural the way their nail grows so just make sure you ask and the reason we are shaking so much is because we were laughing so much and now we were trying to keep it together so that her nail was still and i could apply the acrylic
that was a long process you guys these nails took me so long it was a lot to achieve in this set okay so i just want to talk about application and filing right so you know how with every single set you file after application why do we do that because our nails after filing i'm sorry after application are not perfect every single time there's something that needs to be smoothed out or perfected whatever the case may be. So I just really want you guys to not look for perfection. You can strive for it. You can um, try to be perfect. That's what makes us better. Yes, we want to be better every time. But let me just tell you that if you do that, you are going to get discouraged really quickly. So just Do your best as far as application. Make sure the temperature in the room is good. Make sure your liquid to powder ratio is good. Make sure you're consistent and you're practicing. All of those things combined is what makes the application process better. Also your products, right? Your products need to be good as well. So there are things that play huge roles in the application process, okay? So it can be different every time with that being said. So if one of those things are off, for instance, temperature, your application is going to be thrown off. And so you're going to struggle a little bit, but we always achieve it, right? We always get the job done. We apply the acrylic and then we file to perfect. So just please rest easy. Everything's okay, especially if you're a beginner. Everything is okay. You're just going to perfect your shape. You're in control of the end result, right? That's what's most important. Oh, the reason I explained all of that is because I started to file to put the shape back in, right? My sidewalls and everything. And I was like, you know what? I need to go in and debulk. I'm not happy with this. So my filing isn't going to be the same every time either because I'm going to tweak it based on what I see, right? You're going to eyeball it and say, okay, I need to debulk. There's too much acrylic on certain nails or all of them debulk a little bit make my life a little bit easier and then I'm going to go in with my hand file I love using the hand file to perfect my shape especially over the surface because it covers more of the nail surface than a bit right so I know the e-file is there to help us go faster right but the hand file is fast too I'm really good at using the hand file and it covers more surface especially with long nails it's great because it's kind of like a level like it keeps everything nice and flush on the surface because it's hitting the nail all at once and with the bit you're going over like just a specific part of the nail each time and sometimes that can cause like dents and stuff like that in your nail then you find yourself buffing a little bit longer or whatever the case may be but hopefully you guys know what I mean you know just take it easy do the best that you can the end result is really what's most important, like I said. So I'm just going to let you guys watch my filing process for this set so that I could achieve what I was looking for. And then I buff and then she goes to wash her hands and then we get into nail art and then I will come back.
She said I won't be back in a while. Don't wait. Already packed her bags. Call the cab. Made space. And she said I won't answer if you call me when you're lonely. I guess I let her go. Never mind. It's too late. But I can't believe I let you slip. I think about it seven days a week, and this just can't be how it's supposed to end up. It's not enough. And maybe time will make you fade. But I don't know if I'm ready to just let you go away. Like my friends think I should. Cause what if I just wanna be with you? I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. Honestly, I can't remember if you love me. Or maybe I'm just feeling lonely. I don't know. Just let her go. She got herself a guy, and he's good. No, he's great. Everything she wanted packed behind a pretty face. But I kind of hope he breaks her heart into little pieces and let me pick them all back up. But I can't believe I let you slip. I think about it seven days a week, and this just can't be how it's supposed to end up. Cause what if you should really be with me? I wonder what the hell you didn't see. But honestly, I can't remember if I loved you. But it feels like I did when I think about you now.
right, so once I was happy with everything, she went to wash her hands. And now I'm going to go in and swipe with Young Nail Swipe. It's going to cleanse the nails and just get rid of any oils that was left behind by the soap or anything. And then I'm going to go in with Kiara Sky's Gel Nail Art. They are, or this one's in the color White Canvas. And then I'm going to go in with a makeup sponge to make it look gradient and make it appear as though it is a cloud at the top of the cloud and then I'm going to do some sparkles as well and that's it it's pretty self-explanatory with the nail art so I would just let you enjoy that process if you guys have any questions as far as any of the steps are concerned just please feel free to let me know and if I left anything out oh I do go in with um wham bam thank you glam by madam glam this is like pink glittery touch that I'm adding to the bottom of the clouds just to make it a little bit more sparkly and then I go in with tones top coat which I've been loving that's it and it gives it this beautiful shine and they look so beautiful and I love the end result you guys let me know what you think pretty sure that's all I have for you just give me a like if you love this set I will be posting them on Instagram as well if you don't follow me check me out there it's at jamilitas underscore nails trust the process you guys don't give up on learning and just have fun and try to rest easy with nails okay it's not easy but it's fun and what we love is the end result right <laughs> i love you i'll see you in the next video